Today's lesson is on areas of trapezoids, rhombuses, and kites. Take a minute to read over the learning goal and scale. Find where you are on the scale before we begin the lesson. We can find the area of a trapezoid if we know its height and the lengths of its bases. The height of a trapezoid is the perpendicular distance between the bases. Theorem 10-4 gives us the formula for the area of a trapezoid. The area of a trapezoid is half the product of the height and the sum of the bases. Let's take a look at the trapezoid here. If we cut it in half, we're doing the half the height part. If we take the top part of the trapezoid and rotate it and put it up against the side of the trapezoid, we have now created a parallelogram with bases that are the length of the top base and the bottom base combined and half the height. In example one, we will find the area of a trapezoid. What is the approximate area of Nevada? Let's start with the formula for the area of a trapezoid. Area equals half the height times the sum of the bases. Remember, the base and the heights are always perpendicular, so the height will be 309 miles and the bases will be 205 miles and 511 miles. 205 plus 511 equals 716. 309 times 716 equals 221,244. We'll divide that by 2. And the area of Nevada is approximately 110,622 square miles. Pause the video and do you try number 1. What is the area of a trapezoid with height 7 centimeters and bases 12 centimeters and 15 centimeters? Let's start with the formula for finding the area of a trapezoid. Half the height times the sum of the bases. Now let's substitute 7 in for h and 12 and 15 in for the bases. 12 plus 15 is 27, so 7 times 27 divided by 2. 7 times 27 is 189. We'll divide that by 2. And the area of this trapezoid is 94.5 centimeters squared. In example 2, we will find area using a right triangle. What is the area of trapezoid PQRS? In this trapezoid, we are given the length of the two bases, 5 meters and 7 meters. However, we do not know the height of the trapezoid. We do know that the height is always perpendicular to the bases, so if we draw in the height, we will create a 30-60-90 triangle here. Since we have now formed a rectangle and a 30-60-90 triangle, we know that opposite sides of a rectangle are congruent. So this segment is 5 meters and so is this which makes the remainder 2 meters the short leg of our 30, 60, 90 triangle. We know that the height, or the length of the long leg, is the square root of 3 times longer than the short leg in a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Beginning with the formula for the area of a trapezoid, half the height times the sum of the bases, we'll substitute 2 radical 3 in for the height, and 5 and 7 in for the bases. 5 plus 7 is 12, so we'll have 2 radical 3 times 12 divided by 2. 2 times 12 is 24, so we'll have 24 radical 3 divided by 2. 24 divided by 2 is 12, so our area will be 12 radical 3 meters squared, which is approximately 20.8 meters squared. Since the question doesn't specify how to give the answer, Either of these is fine. Pause the video and do you try number two. In the trapezoid from example two, suppose the height decreases so that the measure of angle P equals 45, while angle R and angle Q and the bases stay the same. What is the area of trapezoid PQRS? Let's start with the formula for the area of a trapezoid, half the height times the sum of the bases. We know the bases have lengths of 5 meters and 7 meters, however, we're missing the height. So let's draw in the perpendicular height 
and create a 45-45-90 triangle. Since the legs of a 45-45-90 triangle are congruent and this portion of the trapezoid is 2 meters long, the height will also be 2 meters long. Working in our formula, 5 plus 7 is 12, so we have 2 times 12 divided by 2. 2 times 12 is 24, and 24 divided by 2 is 12. So the area of the new trapezoid is 12 meters squared. We can find the area of a rhombus or a kite if we know the lengths of its diagonals. Theorem 10-5 gives us the formula for the area of a rhombus or a kite. The area of a rhombus or a kite is half the product of the lengths of its diagonals. So one half diagonal 1 times diagonal 2 or diagonal 1 times diagonal 2 divided by 2. Since the diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular, and they bisect each other, they form four congruent right triangles. Notice by side, 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 all four of these triangles are congruent. Since the diagonals of a kite are also perpendicular, and the longer diagonal bisects the shorter diagonal, they form two congruent triangles. If you ever get stuck and can't remember the formula for the area of a rhombus or a kite, Find the area of the triangles and add them together. In example 3, we will find the area of a kite. What is the area of kite KLMN? Let's start with the formula for the area of a kite, diagonal 1 times diagonal 2 divided by 2. The length of the first diagonal is 3 plus 3, or 6 meters. The length of the second diagonal is 2 plus 5, or 7 meters. So we end up with 6 times 7 divided by 2. 6 times 7 is 42 divided by 2 equals 21 square meters. If you can't remember the formula, let's find the area of triangle KML with base 7 and height 3. And since triangle KNM has the same base 7 and height 3, there will be two of them. So 10.5 times 2, or 21 meters squared, is the same area we got by using the formula. Pause the video and do you try number 3. What is the area of a kite with diagonals that are 12 inches and 9 inches long? Start with the formula for finding the area of a kite, diagonal 1 times diagonal 2 divided by 2. Substitute 12 and 9 in for the length of the diagonals, and simplify. 12 times 9 is 108, divided by 2 is 54 inches squared. In example 3, we will find the area of a rhombus. The high occupancy vehicle, HOV lane, is marked by a series of diamonds or rhombuses painted on the pavement. What is the area of the HOV lane diamond shown? Notice they give us the length of segment BC, which is 2.5. That means this side is also 2.5. They give us the length of segment AC, which is 6.5. This is the hypotenuse of this right triangle. Using 6.5 as C and 2.5 as A, let's use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of segment AB. So we know the length of segment AB is 6 feet. So the length of the first diagonal will be 6 plus 6, or 12, and the length of the second diagonal is 2.5 plus 2.5, or 5. Using the formula to find the area of a rhombus, diagonal 1 times diagonal 2 divided by 2, let's substitute 12 and 5 in for the length of the diagonals, and simplify. 12 times 5 is 60, divided by 2 is 30. So the area of the HOV diamond is 30 feet squared. Pause the video and do you try number 4. A rhombus has sides 10 centimeters long. If the longer diagonal is 16 centimeters, what is the area of the rhombus? Let's start by drawing a rhombus with sides 10 centimeters long and draw in the diagonals. If the longer diagonal is 16 centimeters and the diagonals bisect each other, this length is 8 and this length is 8. 
Let's start by using the Pythagorean theorem to find this length. We'll use a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So the length of this portion of the second diagonal is 6 centimeters. Since the diagonals bisect each other, this other portion is also 6 centimeters. So the length of the long diagonal we know is 16, and the length of the shorter diagonal is 6 plus 6, or 12 centimeters. Starting with the formula for the area of a rhombus, area equals diagonal 1 times diagonal 2 divided by 2. Let's substitute 16 and 12 in for the length of the diagonals and simplify. 16 times 12 is 192 divided by 2 is 96 centimeters squared. Now is your chance to see how well you understand the lesson. Pause the video and do the lesson check. Don't forget to check your answers on the next slide. If you have any questions regarding the lesson check, please be sure to ask me. Now that you're finished, go ahead and do the challenge. Now take another minute to reread the learning goal and scale. Have you climbed any higher on the scale since where you were before we began the lesson?